Hello everyone. Today we're going to find out how to connect seven PoE IP cameras with a single Ethernet cable. We know that the PoE technology sends the power and data to edge devices within 100 meter distance. So can we use a Ethernet cable to connect with seven PoE IP cameras? Well, the answer is yes, but we're going to need this little guy. This is a PoE powered switch. It is not like a conventional switch over here. It can act as both power supply equipment and also power device. For more information, you can take a look at my previous video. What is a PoE powered switch? Okay, now I'm gonna use this 100 meter ethernet cable to connect these two switches. As a reminder, we have to connect the main switch with the power switch through the power switch's number eight port. Because only the number eight port is designed to receive data and power. Once the two port two switches are connected, the indicators on the powered switch start blinking. This means it is currently receiving both power and data from the main switch. And now port number one through seven are all ready to connect with an edge device. Right here I have a wireless access point. I'm going to connect it to the powered switch. And you can see the, the access point is blinking, indicators are on as well. This means the access point is active now. This time I'm going to connect an IP camera to the powered switch. Also, the indicators on the IP camera is on as well. From these two PoE devices, we can tell that after we connect the power switch of a main switch through port number eight, it acts as a regular switch. I bet we are wondering, what about the power budget? Well, these two switches comply to the IEEE 802.3 BT standard. So this protocol uses all four twisted wire, twisted pairs to transfer both power and data. So at the, at the powered switch here, we still can receive a remaining power of 71 watts. That is more than enough to power seven more IP cameras or seven more different PoE devices. Now let's take a look at the main switch. The main switch, switch number one and two, are IEEE 802.3BT type 4 PoE ports. These two ports can output 90 watts of high power. So even though there's power loss during the transmission, the powered switch right here can still receive around 70 watts of power. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any comments, please leave them at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.